Okay, so uh, after I filmed the video that you're going to see, um, I realized that A, it's not really clear uh, what you're supposed to see in the video, and B, I found a few problems uh, with the uh, control that I'm trying to show in the video. So I thought I uh, shoot this uh, little bit of uh, video afterwards. So first off, I wanted to have a uh, control of the uh, greater mold board um, so that I can set a certain uh, angle to the horizontal and then uh, an automatic control algorithm keeps it level. Um, and so normally I'm using controls that are quite similar to Caterpillar uh, for the M-series grader. So this one moves the left side of the circle and therefore the uh, left side of the moldboard up and down and this one does the same for the right one. So, but I wanted to go to something that you might know from uh, airplanes um, so where you have one control for the roll motion and one motion for up and down. It's not quite the same but a uh, similar idea. Um, so this rotation here is now changing the angle uh, the roll angle and this one lifts both sides uh, uh, simultaneously and I also changed um, the way the speed control works or the far forward and backwards so it was this little one here I had a, had a bit of an extension on here and that meant uh, forwards and backwards um, I have changed that now uh, and the uh, stick, the whole stick forward and backwards uh, controls uh, forward and backward motion of the grader. Uh, that's still a little bit experimental. I'm not sure what I prefer. Uh, it's quite nice to uh, control if you're holding the joysticks at the base, uh, but uh, if you want to actually have access to the controls at the upper end of the joystick, I'm I'm still getting used to that. Um, but the main bit uh, that I want to show you is the actual control uh, and so uh, all that you need to remember from the uh, from those two um, transmitters is this does the roll and this does the lift and load. Okay, we're trying to do it handheld. So um, up here uh, normally the receiver cables go normally to the two servos um, uh, but instead they now go into this Arduino. I have two control dials here with which I can adjust, uh, so to say, the aggressiveness of uh, my control. So the, the way the controller works is that it compares uh, what I want to do with what actually is happening. Uh, what I want to do, I do with the joysticks, so if I move the joystick in the one direction my demand value increases and in the other direction it decreases. So, uh, so rolling clockwise and anti-clockwise for example. That's the, side, that's the demand side, that's what I want. So how does the controller know um, uh, what's actually happening? Well it needs a sensor and we see this sensor here. It measures uh, acceleration and uh, rotational velocity around three axes and then this uh, Arduino uses a so-called Kalman filter to uh, to sensor fuse to combine those two uh, or I should say those six measurements into a roll uh, angle that's what I'm interested in but they are commonly used in quadcopters uh, uh, helicopters and so on for uh, well, uh, stabilizing their flight. Um, so, once the microcontroller has compared what I want with what actually is happening, it will say it will know whether uh, we need to turn uh, this way or that way, and then it sends out uh, signals to the servos. Uh, so these servos are then uh, connected to the output of the Arduino. And um, yeah, so uh, in the video you will see that it kind of works. Um, since after the, the video I've uh, 
had some uh, some headaches, but I made some progress. Um, also headaches, uh, the mechanical side, uh, there are some parts of the grader that haven't uh, survived uh, the um, last, I don't know, 10 hours of uh, working in sand quite as well as I hoped. Uh, so I will uh, install some um, uh, protective uh, uh, plates against the sand and I also will replace some of the plastic parts um, with uh, probably brass, uh, which is more sturdy, so uh, I don't know if we can see it. So I have a plastic guide here um, that uh, lets the mold board move left and right. Uh, it's a bit tricky, not much space, um, so I used uh, plastic. Um, it's not the first time it has failed, uh, but I increased the amount of plastic I had um, to support the mold board, but uh, it's quite a heavy machine, so I'm not overly surprised that eventually it gave up. So uh, I will have to have to do something there. But more crucially, this video is about the control, um, and I found some uh, problems uh, in the uh, uh, how the controls worked in the video that you're about to see. But because of uh, because I want to make some changes to the machine, it's going to take a while until uh, the next video uh, will be up. So I wanted to uh, get this out of the door. Um, so I think uh, we should switch it on, and um, I'll see if I can get the camera into a better position for you to actually see what's going on. Okay, so I will be switching on the um, uh, just the receiver with just the two channels that I'm using. Um, but the principle is of course the same. Uh, you heard the uh, how the controller switched on. Maybe you can even see uh, uh, the LEDs uh, lit up on the sensor and on the Arduino if you're using HD um, YouTube. Um, and you can of course hear the uh, server motors uh, starting to buzz because they need to support the weight uh, of the mold board and um, uh, that causes the uh, the motors to start making this uh, sound. Um, so hopefully we were able to see uh, see it in motion, um, lifting and lowering. Uh, I have also integrated a so-called hydraulic function. So if I let go of the joystick, it will stay where it is, and then. Uh, it will increment or decrement the the height of the mold board uh, over ground. Um, yeah, and then the other joystick creates a rotation, as we can see. Um, uh, and that so far is not very impressive. Um, and uh, if I pick up the machine on the back. and turn the machine like so, you will see that the controls keep the mold board in position. Yeah, so that's really all there is. Uh, I wish I had found the, uh, the problems that I had in the, in the code. Uh, before my test, um, but uh, well, uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. So there you have it, uh, my uh, proportional integral controller running on an Arduino uh, with a uh, Kalman filter for uh, position control, or I should say roll control. And um, yeah, uh, I will try to integrate this uh, whole assembly into the front frame of the grader um, and I will take this opportunity to basically rework most of the uh, front frame. Um, I said in my uh, show and tell video that uh, the steering uh, as well as the clamping mechanism here of the saddle um, are not, I mean they work well, uh, but they are not up to the um, standard of the rest of the grader that has already been upgraded. Uh, over the years, so uh, that's kind of my next um, next goal, and um, hopefully 
uh, yeah, I can uh, combine the control improvements uh, that have worked quite well uh, when they worked. Now they work more reliable. So these, together with the mechanical improvement of a new front frame, uh, and that should uh, yeah, that should make the grader uh, even more uh, fun to use. Okay, and with that said, I'm going to uh, show you some footage uh, of the test drive. Um, it is a little bit of a mixture, so relatively short clips because uh, I had constant problems. But hopefully you will see that, um, uh, that it also works uh, in the sand pit and not just uh, in, my, uh, in my room here. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much and uh, uh, hope to see you next time. So uh, before I forget, I wanted to thank uh, everybody for uh, over 150 subscribers. I think we're now at 156. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, also for almost 50,000 views. Uh, I really appreciate it that uh, that you're subscribing to me and uh, spending your time um, uh, watching my crazy little videos. And um, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, until next time.